Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be about Sabo. Listen, I know I said I was going to do the rebirth of Souls character prediction. Uh, I'm just... It's going to it's gonna happen, bro. It's, I'm just... Uh, time is of the essence and these videos are much shorter to record. But yeah, there'll be that will be coming. So if you're interested in that, make sure you leave a like and subscribe. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to be rocking pretty much all this stuff. Like I said, what did I say in the last video with Kuzan? You wake up in the morning, you smell, and it's just like, ah, a Logia type character, which means easy pickings, right? This is gonna be hopefully pretty easy. Um, so Sabo, I, remember, I think a long time ago, I may have put him at D tier. I don't know if, um, if that was the right place. I, I feel like either he was in, either in D or B tier, maybe. I don't remember. Um, but I like Sabo. I think he's fine. Obviously, he is a Logia type, so he does get that extra little boon to like you know be a little bit a lot better than like the the standard uh, small characters that take a lot of damage, right? Because he can go invincible and his full force burst. Um, the thing with us, uh, Sabo, uh, Sabo is I feel like his combos. There's a lot of them. I didn't even realize I got absorbed. Um, I feel like there's a lot of his combos that just kind of, uh, there's one where he, like, oh my god, okay, I'm, gonna, I'm getting juggled, I'm not too annoyed though, whatever. Um, but there are a lot of combos where he's just doing, like, uh, like, he'll grab someone, like, someone's face, like, the thing he did against Burgess and stuff. Um, like, isolated combos, right, so, like, one opponent or whatever, they don't really have that much range. I feel like, to me, the, the thing I just did was probably his best, uh, combo string the like uh the fire cross if you want to call it this is probably my favorite special of his and probably his best uh because i feel like it does armor break and it does uh some you know some decent damage too um i also think his fire fist does a lot of damage i think that's one thing that at least with the uh with that move it didn't really do a ton of damage or like not damage but range the range for uh, that attack at the end was a uh, pretty lame. I'm not gonna lie But see we have ace who's a logia type, but this special damages Armor so we should get rid of ace if no, we didn't even hit him. I don't think he moved out the way Whatever though. We got him now but Yeah, see like a ace has some really damaging supers. I'm surprised teach survived that Um, so yeah, I, I like I like ace. He's not he's not a bad character in my opinion. I know I probably treated him a little bit too harshly, um, but I think uh, overall, like this, this combo sucks, right? Like that's that's it is what it is with that. Uh, he has some decent air combos too, but yeah, he's a speed type as well, so that gives him an extra. So he's a speed analogia, so it's like, like you know, like Ace, right? So it's like I don't know, he. He's, I, I think what it is too, he's probably a worse ace, which is funny to say, obviously. And I, I say that mainly because obviously they're both speed uh, fire types, right? But yeah. He has that for air launcher. Um, He has some air combos, like that one that worked. You gotta be careful. Um... Again, they could have made this... I, I feel like if they do make a Pirate Warriors 5, which One Piece Day is coming soon. It's like in a week or two. Um, and I I am hoping they announce uh, uh, a new game. So yeah, so you can see some of his combos right here. He, he has up to a... Uh, six string basically he goes up to uh, seven max but six in terms of um, obviously like you know the, where you can press the triangle string um, but yeah he's not bad and like I said I feel like it's hard to t it, and honestly it's hard to say oh this character is bad um, nowadays because every character got buffed um, every character Every character is good now because of the levels, the the skills, and everything. Like everything changed when they got when the DLC came out. But yeah, look how fast with concentration and like I think I I don't know personally, 
for me, I think Sabo was that's Sabo's best combo string potentially. He also can do. Wait, okay, this is odd. Um, like I said, like you saw, his he can did a lot of damage. Um, but like you saw there, it's kind of odd. You can do the the fire fist in the sky, but for some reason, if you're in the air already, he like hops in the air, and it's just it's just it's just very odd, right? Because it's like he's already in the air, but he flies in the air, right? Or like he hops up in the air. It's kind of funny. Um, but yeah, it, it, he the fact that he has some ultimates that he can do in the sky too. I think that's a huge plus. I just wish this this attack is. I, I loved it in the anime. I just wish it had longer range. Because uh, it's such a. Because I think we can also do it in. Yeah, see, we, we can do it in here. See, like, you can do... I believe you can do that one in the air, too. Because, obviously, they have the little air, like, air symbol. Um, but, no, it, again, it, I do think Sabo's good. Um, would I say he's better than, like, Kuzan, maybe? Hmm. So far, he's feeling like it, just because, like, I... F I'm... Okay, and, obviously, to get insight into how I feel about characters... I'm a character. I'm a character. I'm a guy that really likes uh, feeling in terms of like characters, like how I use them, right? When I use a character, and like um, I know people are always like, oh, you can like, rely on skill or whatever. For me, in a Muso game, right? It's a Muso game, and I, I sometimes I like challenge, whatever. Um, but to me, in a Muso game, I think what's kind of the most important for me, anyway, is how I feel when. Uh, I'm playing like do I feel like I'm tr like do I feel like I have to try too too hard to to enjoy myself it's a Musou game right obviously you could do some combos and stuff but for the most part when you're playing the, these types of games for me anyway I like to just I like to just pick a character decimate have fun see thousands of enemies perish like you know what I mean like that that's my mindset when I'm like kind of ranking these characters and sometimes i like more intricate characters like i like i, I do like kinemon um and i do like uh kuzan and stuff and even like akainu is pretty intricate and stuff because he has uh you know the magma stuff and his combos aren't really that like long but they're deceptively short because he does insane amounts of damage right um but for me sabo just feels like an easy character to use then you get the buff with, you know, all these skills and the level ups and all that. It just makes him a uh, uh, easy character to use. Damn, really is beefy as shit. What the hell? Okay, there we go. Jesus. But yeah. That's my insight onto, like, how I feel about, like, using characters, personally. Um, the only negative about going all the way down here is that we have to go all the way back. But luckily, we are a speed type, so the stamina... I wish I was my full force burst, because then I would have been back already, but we're already back basically. But yes, yeah, I, I woke up smelling. I smelled. Ah, oh yes, Logia type. Easy day. I think Ivankov is next, which that one might be a little bit interesting. Um, I, Ivankov is one where I'm gonna practice a little bit off screen just because. I, as per usual, the characters, uh, especially after Buggy, where people are yelling at me that Buggy's the greatest or whatever. Um, oh, where am I going? Uh, I, I kind of want to try Ivanko and make sure that I'm not, like, shafting. Making sure everyone knows Sanji, bro. Sanji's over here getting going the other way. Alright, y'all, follow me, please. In an orderly fashion, I need y'all to follow. Okay, I'm just gonna. Yeah, it, it looks like they're. Okay, so are they following? Are they following? Yeah, sometimes, it, like, if I don't get lucky enough, they kind of, like, trail off to the right hand side. And I think some of them are still stuck there, uh, unfortunately. 
And the reason that happens is because obviously you can tell on, on the map, on the right hand side, there's a, like a yellow, like the other enemy type. So obviously these are all red types. So they're all going to aim to like any enemy aside from me, right? So they, they get kind of stuck on that side. But yeah, I know, I like, I like uh, Sabo, I was gonna say Ace. Pretty simple and easy character to use. Um, is he the strongest? I don't think so. I think, um, like, again, some of the fact that it's, to me, I think it feels like his combos are, they feel restricted to, to, I don't know, very simple ones. And with all the stuff going on in these stages, you may as well just, like, spam specials, to be honest, right? Oh, I didn't, I, uh, I thought I turned around. Hopefully that hit, though, that didn't really hit anyone. Just gonna be careful. I'm just doing that. I don't think I got my full force burst, but this sh okay. So yeah, Luffy and Law is dead. Kid is dead with this. Cool. All right, and then now we're already at the finale. Awesome. I will pick up the. I will pick up health just in case. I guess to be fair though, like that low amount of health is not gonna do anything. Like if I get hit by one ultimate by them, it's it's GG for me anyway. But yeah, we're making good time. Obviously, a pretty short video today, but um, this is what happens when you have a character that's very easy and simple. <laughs> Can't really uh, say anything else about him. I just, I'm, you know what it is to so maybe, again, I might be slightly biased because I am a, I love the, the fighting style with Sabo, man. I really like the idea, like the whole like dragon claw and like, I don't know. I love the, the name in Japanese also sounds so cool. Like, you know, Ibuki, like it just sounds so cool, man. So excuse me if, if you think he sucks, I'm sorry, you know, whatever. Um, I I do ha I just like using him. Maybe obviously there are characters that are better than him, but I really like him. I like him. I'll probably comfortably put him like low A, high B. Because again, my barometer for like S tier is still like white beard. Uh, gotta move. Oof, that could have been that could have been really bad actually. Um, my barometer for like S here is like Whitebeard, Akainu, Katakuri, uh, Odin, you know, stuff, th those characters. Characters that like just decimate enemies in like two specials or three, M maybe even less. Got him. Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that has to be his best ult. That has to be his best ult. But yeah, Sabo's clean. Let me know what you think about Sabo in the comment section. Leave a like and subscribe. Um, I'm trying to think of negatives with him. Like I said, the negatives with him are probably just his combos and maybe that sometimes the specials have some short range, especially the... The dragon breath one because for that one you can see it does good damage but you really have to get in close um i know the other uh the other one takes longer the the dragon claw but it does really good um like guard damage right and it also does some pretty good damage in general so i don't know i feel like uh he has a good balance of both uh you know i don't know he's a good character uh obviously i don't think he's as strong as like a um, an Akainu or anything like that, but I think he, he's a, he's a comfortably good character. Um, at least obviously, and this is all with the new skills and everything. And like, obviously with the new skills, I could be blindsided that, you know, the, the damage he's doing is obviously due to them. And yeah, I think, I think that's a good point to obviously bring up is that without the skills, would he be as good? And I think that's still where I remain, at least in my past viewing, where I think I had him like in C or D tier because... Those were my experience with a level like 20 or something Sabo without, um, you know, all the crazy stuff. But with 
all these skills, which to me, if you're going to run, if you have all the skills unlocked, why not use them unless you're doing a challenge run? So it's like a give and take. It's like, oh, he's only this good because of the skills. It's like, yeah, sure. But are you not going to put on the good skills? Like, is that like a weird counter argument? But I don't know. As a base character, I could see some of like him him being weaker, but with these skills and stuff, I think, and the level cap being increased, I think he's much better than he was. So yeah, I like him a lot. Make sure that you like and subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one. Let me know what you all think.